Once a woman comes over to your place, you want to make sure that you have the essential things that make her say, you know what? That was a good time and I want to come back. Now, here's the problem is a lot of guys, and by the way, guilty of this for way too many years, uh, they don't pay attention to their place, this setup. And they don't have a setup that says, hey, I'm a mature guy. I have my act together. I have my life together and I am not a complete mess. So on today's video, I'm gonna give you five essential things that you need to have in your condo, in your home, in your apartment that say to a woman, hey, I'm mature, I have a nice place and a place where you're gonna wanna come back to. Some of these things you're gonna be able to implement right away. Some things are gonna take a little bit of time, but let's get into it because they're all important. Follow me into the bedroom where I'm gonna show you something that is so critical. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the bed. Okay, now this is not the item, well, this is obviously the item that you need in your place, but let's get more specific. So this is kind of a, a twofer, meaning there are two things that I want you to have for your bed that are gonna make it so she's gonna want to come back. The first one is a headboard. All right, so this puppy right here, this is what a headboard is. Now it's connected over here, and that's where the mattress goes, the box spring goes, okay? Now, this is a little bit feminine, I will admit. I'm in an Airbnb right now, so we don't have much choice over the design, but still, we can admit this is pretty awesome as well. And the headboard adds such a crucial piece to this. Imagine if there was no headboard there, and all these pillows over here were just against the wall doesn't look good, looks very empty. Something very mature about having a headboard, very cozy, very comfortable. It adds a whole new element to the design of the room and the bed. And most guys don't do this. You can just purchase one new, of course, but you can also just go on Facebook Marketplace on Craigslist and you can get one that's used and you can be able to get one pretty fast and up and running. The second thing, the mattress. Okay, so we're on this mattress right now. Uh, I'm not sure what the company is that makes this mattress, but let me just say it is soft and is also firm at the same time. It's kind of got that Tempur-Pedic Tempur feel and it's gonna be really crucial to have a mattress that is really comfortable and there's so many different routes you can go with this, okay? So I'm gonna go for the cheap route first. This is what I used to do when I did not have a lot of money. I got a cheap mattress, maybe like a couple hundred bucks and then I put a two inch foam pad on top of the mattress. I had women stay over at my place and they said that was one of the most comfortable beds that they've ever been on. And again, this was a foam padding on top of a mattress. The foam padding was like a hundred bucks and the mattress was like a couple hundred bucks. So that's the cheap way to go and that's the fast way to go. The other option is really investing into the bed and spending a couple thousand dollars on one of those real nice Tempur-Pedic type mattresses. You can go Tempur-Pedic, that actual brand. Then there's one called Casper. Every year there's a new company that comes out with one of those delivered to your door rolled up mattresses that are some of the most comfortable mattresses. And I would recommend that you get one of these anyways because your sleep is so important. So forget just women coming over. When you have a great seven to eight hours of sleep because of your mattress, you're going to be healthier and it's gonna help your longevity because you're getting such good sleep, which is so good for you. All right, let's come out of the bedroom. Let's talk music for a second. I'm in an Airbnb. I don't have a crazy speaker system, but this is good because not everyone does. So this is the quick way to have a great way to be able to play music. So I'm able to airplay my phone over to the TV over there and be able to play music that way. I have a JBL speaker. This is like, oh, I don't know, 80 bucks or something something I take on road trips and camping trips and things like that, but this plays pretty solid music. You can also get a nicer JBL, which is like a couple hundred bucks, or of course you can go all the way and get a great speaker system. Or like in my other place that I'm not in right now, I have a whole vinyl setup. I have about 200 vinyls, a really nice vinyl player. I've invested a lot into building that out because I love music. Have an option to play music. Coming over to a place where you're playing music out of your phone or you're having no music at all is very awkward. You wanna be able to set the mood. Next up, this right here. No, not necessarily a mirror, but you want things on the walls. I know we come from college where we don't think about the things we put on our walls 
or maybe we've had posters on our walls, but you want items on your wall. Look at this Airbnb I'm in. You wouldn't think much about it, right? I don't go up to that piece and go, wow, that's so beautiful. What a beautiful piece of art. It's kind of white noise in the sense where you don't notice it, but you also subconsciously do because if there was nothing on those walls, I would notice how bare it is. But once you put something up like that, it makes the room feel a lot nicer, right? So we can go over here. We can even see there's some things on the mantle. There's the 1 million uh, gold plaque I got right there. Uh, don't like this piece of art, but at least there's something on the wall, right? So again, point being is you want things on the wall. It makes the place feel more designed and less like you're in some sort of mental institution. And if you don't know what to put up, use a mirror. There's a mirror there, that's pretty cool. They even have a mirror here, which kind of makes sense. This is something you might look at, right? Because if you're going out the door. So things on your wall make the place better. Lastly, you want your place smelling amazing. So you want candles and a couple of them. And I don't know about you, but for a long time I thought candles were kind of girly. And maybe that's because when you see candles around, they smell kind of feminine, but you do not need to get a feminine scented candle. You can get something like this. Storm smells pretty awesome. Light this bad boy up when she comes over. Smells great, doesn't smell girly at all, but also the light of the candle sets that mood. Have a couple all in different places. Here's another one right here. Super masculine, amber and bergamot. And what's kind of cool is they look nice, right? Like this looks like a cool piece just to have lying around. Smell that, almost smells like cologne which is kind of nice. Go to a candle store, go on Amazon, wherever you want. You can even get really nice candles that are designer. Tom Ford makes some candles that smell incredible. Have those in your place and you're really setting the mood. Those are the things I want you to pay attention to when it comes to styling your place. Obviously, we have just scratched the surface. There's so much more that you could do to make your place awesome. But if you just had those five things covered, I guarantee she will remember your place because most guys do not have that. And bonus is just make sure the place is clean. And at the least, things are put together and not thrown all over the place. Don't have dirty clothes everywhere. Make sure you clean the bathroom sink, the bathroom toilet. All that stuff needs to be nice and tidy. Have that, have the things that I mentioned, and you'll be on your way. Now, I want you to mention down below anything that you have had in your place that really helped. I want us all to give some ideas so we can help each other out. This is a community here. So say something in the comments below that you have in your place that's really made a great uh, effect on your place. Also, mention maybe a specific candle or a type of mattress or anything that I mentioned here today. Any specific examples that you have, write them in the comments too, so we can all see and all get help.